So we just filled up with another load of fertilizer. Should be our last for this hay field. And I ran out, so I'm trying to figure out where I ran out, right? Well, I hope you can see that. GPS takes me right to that spot in the field. Hey guys, welcome back to the Skyline Acres channel. My name is Ryan, and today we are gonna be spreading some nitrogen fertilizer on our hay field. In the bed of my truck here, I've got 27 50 pound bags of urea, which is 46% nitrogen. It's 46-0-0. If you haven't seen my spring videos, go back and watch them. But when I do like an actual um, fertilization where I'm putting all three nutrients down and that kind of thing, I get bulk fertilizer. Um, I don't use the bags um, and I put it on that way. If you guys haven't been here before, um, this is our Kubota MX5800. We bought it in 2016. It's been great. By the way, that reminds me, if you guys like our videos, go out there and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. We'd really appreciate it. Um, but anyways, this is our Kubota MX-5800, and this is a Land Pride FSP-700, I believe. Yeah, FSP-700, and that is nine bags of urea in there, which is 450 pounds. So I am going to get my phone set up. I mount a phone here. Uh, if you haven't seen it before, People really like it. I mount a phone here with a free app for spreading or spraying or whatever. And it's basically puts A, B lines on your field and it's GPS. So anyways, I'm going to get to spread. I went to my starting point and I hit A. Now I'm getting to the other end of my field and I'm going to hit B. And then, man, I just can't get that glare off there. Uh, you'll see it put A, B lines on the field. Go down here and hit B. There all the lines went. See it? Now I can zoom in and all. Right back up the field now. I'm spreading, by the way. And that's basically how you do it. I mean, just follow that line. Keep in mind, I'm trying to hold a camera and everything and talk and all this stuff. Um, yeah, super simple. And I, for a free app, I tell you, you can't beat it. All right, guys. So the reason I use bagged fertilizer for nitrogen after first cutting of hay is because urea is a really hot fertilizer. Uh, it's 46% nitrogen, which means for a small hobby guy like myself, I really don't need that much volume of it for the 12 acres that I'm applying it to. I can get the bags five minutes from my house at the local co-op, or I would need to drive 45 minutes to get it in bulk. In 2020, this fertilizer at the same place was $13 a bag, then $16 a bag in 2021, then in 2022, it shot all the way up to $30 a bag. Last year, it came down a little to $28 a bag, and this year, it was back down to a reasonable level of $19 a bag. All right, guys, so I got done with what was supposed to be half of the field of fertilizer. And I feel like we got 40 to 45% of the field done. So I'm going to, which is really good, by the way, accuracy-wise. But I'm going to cut the, uh, the gate back by half of a hole. And uh, that should finish this out even. Guys, you know how you just do things sometimes without asking yourself why? Well, I've generally always went and got this fertilizer like this, pulled it off the truck with the pallet forks because I have pallet forks, right? Why not? And then the pallet's kind of setting on the ground and you're lifting these bags up and all this different stuff. I said, well, shoot, I'm gonna just leave it on the truck and do it this way. So, kind of like it's better. Gets you, gets you to the right exact height. So right now I've got it on hole four and a half. They call these outside holes one and the inside hole is half. So one, two, three, four and a half. I'm gonna move it back to hole four. 
right there. One, two, three, four. I'll tell you what, guys. If y'all are in the market for a spreader, I love this thing. A lot of people think of these spreaders as disposable, but with the poly hopper and you got stainless steel fins and distribution plate and everything down here. Uh, what I do is I wash it up really good when I'm done. And then I take used motor oil or whatever and I put it on here with a paper towel. I mean, this thing's probably five years old. Used with all kinds of urea and stuff like this. And it looks like new. All right, guys, so we just filled up with another load of fertilizer. Should be our last for this hay field. And I ran out, so I'm trying to figure out where I ran out, right? Well, I hope you can see that. GPS takes me right to that spot in the field. So now, basically just get it right there and start spreading. Pretty much right here. So I'll tell you what guys, I don't know if you can tell by looking at the grass, but it has been really dry here ever since we took off first cutting. As a matter of fact, it's been about a month since first cutting and there has been very little regrowth. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but this fertilizer application is going to work out to 52 pounds of nitrogen per acre. The reason I'm applying the fertilizer now is because they're calling for rain over the next two days, which is pretty much the only rain we've had since we cut hay. If this rain turns out to be nothing and we don't get much the rest of summer, this fertilization could end up being a big bust. So we got the hay field done and we are getting ready to start the little four acre pasture here. It's about 8.15 at night. Got me up load there and that one load to do this whole pasture with your rear so anyways I will catch back up with y'all here in a little bit go ahead and engage the PTO all right go ahead and hold a down here because that's our starting position to register that now I'm gonna go to the other end down there We'll register B, it'll put straight lines on here, and we'll do the whole field here. finished a small pasture and looks like I don't know if you can see that it's 3.3 acres and I overlap 0.4 acres like I said it's about a three acre field uh, it says I went 1.1 miles so anyways that's what it looks like and then that was over here I'm getting ready to start this little thing right here. It's about an acre or so in here. All right, guys, so I literally ran out. Uh, well, basically dead on. So I was over there last. I came over here to this whole area. The only thing I missed was like that little barnyard area. It's like 0.1 of an acre. The nice thing is, when you have data on your spreader from years past and different spread rates and drive speeds and RPMs and, and all this different stuff, um, you can get it pretty dialed in. So out of all that uh, fertilizer that was on my truck, I mean, We've done all that over there, all this over here, and just 
didn't get that one little spot over there. So I'd say that's about as close as you're gonna get it. We took first cutting off this and we typically don't do that. We've only done that once or twice, but we did do it this year because there was such an abundance of it. We're not gonna cut hay on this anymore, but we're gonna stockpile it for winter. So anyways guys, as I call this an evening and begin to put the tractor away and pray for rain tomorrow, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to our channel because the analytics say that we have so many uh, new watchers that aren't subscribed to the channel. We would, we would love to have you here uh, and have you back for every video. But anyways, with that said, y'all have a good one and we'll catch you again next time. Just giving y'all a little bit of an update. It's now the next day after we fertilized. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and those rains that I was hoping for have arrived. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's coming down pretty good if you look against the trees there. Um, but it's kind of looking like there's, a, there's another round also that may or may not hit us. So depending on that, uh, we'll determine how much we end up getting.